a new Mega Man is here, and I don't know what I do. I want to do here. I really don't know what I want to do here, but. I'm a collector, so of course I try to keep my collection fully completed, but this time, since it's Megumi and since you saw what she did to me, right, I decided to set a limit. We actually have quite a few good limited banners here. We have the 4k paid quartz multi that if it's a Forester, it's guaranteed Megu, which is, you know, great. We have the 2k multis and last but not least, if I want to do that, I still need to think time about that we have the server banner with the last pull have a 25 percent chance to be the megu and the steps before ak step two and three have the normal one percent rate up after the paid pulls i'm done i might continue to do the daily single pulls if i don't get the megu and see if i can get her that way but i'm not touching any other parts to that i'm not touching my free quarts because end of the month a new unit is coming and by the way in two days on wednesday there will be the live stream actually I think five hours earlier than my usual time so you know be ready there early and that's really great for my asian viewers so that's really cool but yeah it will be a fun stream where we see the new unit and hopefully finally see if we are right for our predictions because it's still a just prediction but i'm hyped for that so i hope to see you there and of course after the stream we have summon sonoka star rail for akaron which will be really puck and we will have, of course, summons for the new unit the moment she drops. So again, if you don't want to miss any of that, like, subscribe, follow for more. And let's start with the summon sessions. First up, 4K Multi. Just show me Rainbow, please, please, game. Come on, it's Miku. Please, please be nice to me. Come on, loading time. Fake outs. Any fake outs? Ah, no. Satch. Oh, the loading time! I coped there! I coped! <laughs> Damn it, okay. Five 2k multis, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, game. Be nice to me. First multi, nothing. Okay, okay. Oh, Miyu, please, please, please. Just appear. Just show up. Cast explosion, crash my game. I don't care, but appear, please. Okay, no forest star still, no fake outs, no nothing. How do I feel about the fake outs? They're a nice addition, but at the same time, I just want to see the rainbow because the rainbow calls me down because there's a chance, right? Fake outs are not guaranteed, so each multi could be something, but at the same time, it just feels bad if there's like no fake out for five multi strange. Let's see, let's see, come on. Oh, oh. Nice, nice, nice. Megu secured, Megu secured. Megu was nice to me, finally. It just took all, uh, it just took a hard pity and an almost hard pity for one Megu me to appear. That is not hard pitting me. So, that was, I think, 10k pay quarts total. Um, again, one thing, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but same with the third Annie units. The fourth Annie units also have special stories with them. They also have changeable expressions and stuff like that, so that's really, really cool. And uh, let's check out what she can do and check out the expression, shall we? Okay, let's... Go into my units list where she is. Uh, God, there are so many Megus. Where is that? There is it. <laughs> okay. First, let's take a quick look at the beautiful artworks. First up, we have the normal artwork, just her smiling at the camera, right? Then we have her crimson demon pose with the glowing eyes and no, you know, eye patch, which I personally like more, to be honest, than the Ruchi one because I think that just fits really, really well with Megumin. And last but not least, fitting for Migu, the sparkle effect with a big smile on the face. Skill wise, they actually went with a different one than expected, but to be honest here, guys, with how strong Forbidden Megumin is, and now we having Fantasy Fest Migu, aka blocking fire out of the equation for new Megumins, it's really hard to make a good Megumin because. 
To be honest, each arena you just kind of want to use if you want to use a Megu. Uh, the Hari Susumiya collaboration Megu, aka Yuki Nagata Megu, thanks to her AoE T1 EX Red and the 20% team gauge up, which just allows her to ulti, give your team enough gauge to be ready to ult and provide the EX Red Red. So there's not that much room for how to improve a Megu, but they actually went with a really interesting strat here. So let's just take a look at the less exciting skill right it's an aoe skill with hp condition that gives i think small cdr so i think four seconds maybe it's six seconds i forgot but either four or six seconds of cdr no, not bad right it's fine but the big one is the first skill it's an aoe skill that provides a tier one ex earth damage boost for and yes you see it right 40 seconds to make Megu mean worth the, the usage, the gauge and everything like that. They actually just decided to slap a skill on her that pretty much lasts for the whole run to make her viable. Which is, <laughs> I think it's so stupid and I kind of like it because there aren't any other ways to make Megu viable. So this Megu is pretty much just budget forbidden fast Megu. So instead of providing a long duration buff with... Um, Multi damage bonus and dark damage on hit. They just decided to make it, you know, budget, aka a uh, tier 1 earth damage EX bonus for 40 seconds, aka most of the run. And you know what? It works. It's a damage increase. You kind of want to run this mega. So I, 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 I respect the decision to actually go this way and open up longer duration skills for Megumi because that could allow for more fun, creative Megumins in the future. But yeah, um, before we end the video, because I never know if I showed it off, I just want to show off the different expressions again of all the Ani units, now that I have them all. We have Aqua Normal, we have Drunk Aqua, and we have, of course, as usual, Crying Aqua. We have Kazuma, who has normal expression. The same star as Migu thing had with like his sexy face or whatever you want to call it. And of course, also fitting with Kazuma, his like sweating expression. Next one on the list should be Darkness. Well, we just saw Migu, so I'm just skipping through her. We have, of course, Normal Darkness. We have then Blushing Darkness. Or like, maybe Drunk even. Maybe it's Drunk Darkness, not sure. Yeah, Drunk and this is Blushing Darkness. That's right. And last but not least, of course, our nuke monster, Chris, with her normal expression, with her blushing expression, and of course, the best one, hands down, her evil expression where even the sky turns down. So yeah, um, quick summer session. I'll dig that. I appreciate that. We still have... Let me double check. We still have 6k pay quarts, probably not enough to do all the pay pulls with the new unit coming out, but it's still better than nothing, right? I didn't need to top up extra, which I really appreciate. <laughs> so, um, I think all in all, good sun session. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, follow for more. Again, remember, live stream, Wednesday, 5 hours early, aka 12 p.m.? AM? 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock? Um, European time, so UTC plus one. I hope I see you all there. And, you know, see you all in the next video. Bye! <laughs>